Alice, is it bad? I knew it, I knew it! Let her read it, Henry. She's been reading it for the last ten minutes. What's wrong with it? Nothing's wrong with it. I'm reading it carefully. She's reading it carefully. Oh, I didn't know we'd have to write things for this. That's the whole point of it. I speak for speeches. And I, I pay for it. Neither of us should be let near Quill. Well, I didn't mean we were back. Well, you have been wished that the author himself had lived to set forth and overseen his own writing. But since it hath been ordained otherwise, and he by death departed from that right, we pray you do not envy his friends, the office of their care, and page who collected and published them. It's good. Is it really? Honestly, Adam, you need your honest eyes on things. Well, the beginning is a bit pecuniary. By the first, that doth best come in the book. Uh, so. Jagged insisted we put it in. The best bit is at the end. Who, as he was a happy imitator of nature, was the most gentle expressor of it. His mind and hand went together. It's very good. We would have loved it. One, two. Cannot take it, I cannot, and will not, I cannot do it, man. What's wrong with you, Ben? Are you well, man? Grown men weep in public if they be well. I'll get you a drink. I've been drunk for three days straight. No drink for you then. And without drink I will not last a fourth. Come you right up. Pity's sake, tell us what ills you been. William Bloody Shakespeare. God help me, here I go again. Ben, what on earth? I started your lines, some separate praise, some Good man, good words, hey nonny nonny. And then I said, let me read a play or two to remind myself. I set out at midnight, dragged Crane from bed, show me Shakespeare. And I read everything. That man, Hamlet, Lear, Romeo, and what's a name? You read them all. And at uh, once. That he too will thrill it. I'd only ever heard the place, seen them, never been alone with them. And there I was, and there they were, the pinnacles of stone, the peaks of heart, and I hate heart. The way he grows in the writing, too, as a man himself. But so young, the wisdom he puts down, how did he know these things so young? How could he? God help me, I started drinking, we haven't stopped since. Oh dear. Perhaps some food instead of ale. I know the feeling you're in, Ben. I do, and I respect it. But I must ask, have you pinned the lines yet? What? Uh, the printing's almost done, and we just need those few lines to say you knew him. Of course I knew him! I was with him the day before he... He died. I was there, and I could've... Ben. No. It's not your fault. What if it was? I could have stopped him. You couldn't have. It's a fever. What have you done? He was drinking with me. He was out with me. We gorged ourselves. We fought. We drank. We drank more. Could have sent him home. I didn't. Out from the Stratford pub, hot and drunk, and he steps outside and falls in the snow. I find him half an hour later and he's... Fever was all over the end. I could have... No, Ben, release yourself sometimes. I miss him. I miss the fight. I miss the work. I miss the world. The one we had in love is gone. No one can help the passing of time nor friends. That's why this is so urgent. Yes, yes, yes. He lives on and on. I wrote your damn lines. Take them and let me drink and be both times cool briefing in the corner. Unless, of course, it might Not you. even a little. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Ben. Thank you again and again and... <laughs> I tried to be brief. I couldn't. To draw no envy, Shakespeare, on thy name, am I thus ample to thy book and fame, 
while I confess thy writings to be such as neither man nor muse can praise too much. But well, that's really yeah, it's good I know keep on that. I therefore will begin. Soul of the age, the applause, the light, the wonder of our stage. No, 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 you're doing it wrong. Shine forth, vice, thou star of poets, and with rage or influence chide or cheer the drooping stage, which since thy flight for hence hath mourned like night and despair's day, but for thy volume's light. You're welcome. I'm going to be sick. I see. Did you hear that? Brilliant. Brilliant. Give it to your men today. How soon can we get the book? Soon. How soon? The first matter is all that's left. The first few copies will have time instead of photos. What? Why? Long story. Uh, the end is which, thankfully, happy. My father convinced Wally to let us publish Tronus after all. And we have to do it to dedicate the book to Earls of Pembroke and Montgomery. Dedicated to who? Who are they? Now, they're our dearest and most constant patrons. Like hell they are! And that's what my father bought for Wally's to drop his quarrel. We're not writing a dedication to men, for, for men who had nothing to do with them. Keep it dark. Where's Which is why she wrote one for you. To the most noble and incomparable pair of brothers, and ill work, and we will have our collection. Come on. Uh, what your father would not do to ensure his own profit. Yes, uh, ironically, a career of pirating master Shakespeare's plays is going to pay to publish them like they should be. That man would have to die to not get what he wants. In that case, he did both. Whoops, did. Last night of his sleep, the sound was a mark. Well, I what, what do you mean? His favorite writer, his biggest project, and he didn't live to see it in print. I'm sure. It, I'm not sure if it makes me sad or serves him right, or both. Isaac, I am sorry. Let's finish it. Let's finish it. <laughs> 